Hi everyone, Matt Stewart here with Cobalt Banker Ronin Realty, here to talk to you about the market stats from August of 2022. As you can see, we've got a little bit more inventory coming to the market. As you can see, the interest rates have definitely taken effect. We've seen a drop off kind of steadily through the stats from obviously going from February till now. A little more inventory for buyers. Interest rates still making it a little bit difficult, but there's tons of opportunities for buyers and sellers out there. So we're going to dive right into the stats and then I'll do my takeaway at the end. As we look over to the Midland market, we saw last month the average purchase price was sitting around 596,000, as opposed to the previous month of July sitting around 865. Now that's a 31% change. Please keep in mind in the Midland market, there are some rural properties that are attached to Midland as well as waterfronts. So when we don't get many sales of those type, the prices tend to come down on a month over month basis. But again, we're seeing drop offs in those areas which were really impacted with COVID in terms of people going there. We're starting to see a little bit of a pullback now. So I think that's what's bringing pricing down on a month over month basis, as well as we've seen inventory levels stay pretty stable, 47 in July, we had 45 in August, and then 15 sales in July, we had 23 in August. So we saw a couple more sales, a little pullback in inventory, but a pretty big difference in a month over month price for properties. So again, keep in mind when bigger homes sell in those areas that are close to water and also rural, it tends to fluctuate the price. But hey, if you're looking in Midland right now and the average purchase price sitting around 596,000, there's some good deals to be had. That's the market stats for August of 2022. Thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions about the market, my information is below. My takeaways and what I think you're gonna see going into the fall market. Again, interest rates are definitely playing a factor. People are starting to tighten up spending. So I think we're gonna see a pullback in terms of pricing, but I don't think we're gonna see an overly large increase in inventory. As people see the uncertainty, there are gonna be more people waiting things out to kind of correct and figure out what's gonna happen maybe going into the spring. So for you buyers out there, there are gonna be deals that come to market, but there's not gonna be as many as you think there are. So if you are looking at buying, talk to your mortgage broker, figure everything out, get pre-approved, get your numbers in line so that when that good opportunity comes up, you're able to jump on it. Because as a buyer or seller, it doesn't matter what you are, if you're in the real estate market, time in the market always beats timing of the market. So. Get in now. If you think rates are gonna go down, do a two-year mortgage, do the variable. Even though the variable is starting to be a little more kind of fluctuating right now, being on a two-year mortgage gives you options. So you can be in the market, gaining equity, and then if rates go down, you just refinance. On the selling side of things, right now prices are the highest they're gonna be. We saw the peak in February and a slow decline as we get to this point. Right now, there are good opportunities. If you're looking at upsizing, that house that was two, 300,000, over asking it would have gone, now it's going under asking. And then your home in relativity has dropped probably the same, but now you're able to make that lateral move to a bigger home without going way over budget. So again, buying or selling, talk to your mortgage broker, get approved. If you have any questions, just wanna chat about the market. Again, all my details are below. Thanks for tuning in, take care.